Hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, today, well, actually, let me let me make some house cleaning announcements here. Okay. My allergies are horrible. I had a total like sinus badness and um, I'm full of over-the-counter drugs and um, it's feeling better but now on the tail end of this I keep losing my voice and <clears throat> um, it's just kind of nasty so with that being said um, let's push on through here because this is something that's been bothering me um, for about a week now and um, I just didn't know how to talk about it um, I had to really um, think about how to do this <clears throat> so basically what happened was um, last week um, I posted um, the cover for my new chat book um, on my newsletter in my um, on my Patreon page and um, sent it out to some friends and stuff just to like because I was excited about it as most people should be when they create something you know you get excited about it and you want to share it with everybody um, so what I shared with everybody was um, my new damn it, my new chat book, um, Pharma Phoenix Rises. And as you can see, there is a I'm trying to use the light. I don't know where to put the light. Um, it's a phoenix. Um, and instead of like rising out of the ashes, it's rising out of a broken um, pill, like capsule, um, a pharmaceutical um, kind of thing. And this is like the sequel to The End of Everything, the book of really, I mean, it's funny because people have been reading it um, lately since I sent a bunch of them out and telling me how much fun they're having with it. And there's a part of me that's like, oh, you're having fun with all those poems that I wrote that were the only thing keeping me from killing myself, huh? Um, so that was just, it's kind of funny how, like, some people take different things from different stuff. The reason why I'm bringing all this up <clears throat> is because I feel like there is a stigma in America still that I thought was long gone. I have made some very controversial movies. I've written some very controversial books. I've had to change titles of songs to have them be put on an album that were going to be put out in a Walmart store. You know, like, um, I have done things that are questionable, let's say. And I haven't got the kind of heat that I've gotten from this. Um, something that I thought was very um, positive and very hopeful and very um, just lighthearted almost compared to this. Um, and so what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to read a poem out of here called The Robot. And this is what I was afraid of when I knew that the doctors were going to put me on antidepressants and stuff like that, okay? Um, life is so depressing and death so permanent. What is one to do? What is one to think? How does one go on? Pills, prescriptions, robotic feelings, that must be the only way. If I go that route once more, I will have to say goodbye to this. When they make me a robot, I cannot write like this. I cannot open my soul, because I do not know my soul. I am not required to. My soul becomes a closed-off hard drive, full of data. 
that will remain untouched. That is, until my next break, my next episode, my next system failure. My dose will be upped, sometimes doubled, and in only three weeks' time, system override will be complete and I can go on. Without tears, without emotion, without drive, I will once again be a soulless, robotic member of our great society. With a half-smile and only these words to remember what it was like to live. Now, that is how scared I was and how, um, like, I knew I had to be on medication, not for me and not for the work I was doing, but because of my family. Like, the people you're with all the time are the people that have to like, live through your crap, you know, and that's why this, I dedicated this book to Zoe, because she lived through all that crap, and I'm sure it was way harder on her to try to be strong and supportive when I was cracking, you know what I'm saying, so that robot poem is, like, the fear I had, and then this is... Poems I wrote after I was taking the medication and I realized that it wasn't that bad, that I was able to function. And it took some time because at first the doctors wanted me on so much shit that I couldn't even fucking move. And it is a trial and error to try to find the right dose for you. Like everyone's going to have to go through this if they're doing medication. And it's fucking scary because you don't know what's going on. You don't understand why your body is responding the way it's responding. There were times when I felt like my head was just inside a pillow. Like it was just surrounded with cotton balls. And I couldn't function. I couldn't think. I couldn't do anything. And I kept going back to the doctor. And I'm like, look, I'm a writer. If I don't write, I like, I don't exist. Like I need that outlet. And if the meds you're putting me on keeps me from doing that, just fucking kill me or put me in a fucking hospital because I need to be able to do this. So through a series of trial and error, we got to a point where um, I was on something that um, kind of kept me straight, um, kept me from crying every time I saw a fucking commercial that had a butterfly in it or something, you know? Um, it was just like, you have to go through all this stuff. So I was all excited about this, and I've been wanting to put this out for a long time, but because of where we were living and the printer situation and all this other stuff, it like just wasn't happening. So now that we're here, the printer's up. This is available. It's on my Etsy store now today. Um, there's only 50 copies of them. But I was all excited about this. And I got shit from people for it. And I couldn't fucking believe it. And um, it wasn't just one person. It wasn't just two per people. But um, I couldn't fucking believe it. And to be honest, a couple of the conversations I had were not shitty. They just were uninformed. But one conversation I had was like borderline violent. Um, and the common thing was, was that if I'm on uh, mind altering chemicals, um, pharmaceuticals like this, what I'm writing is not poetry. It isn't real. It can't be real because... I'm not who I'm, I really am when I'm letting doctors play around with my brain. And um, I find that highly fucking offensive. And um, it's not at all true. I mean, if we go that route, then we would say, okay, well, anyone who smoked pot and was an artist of any kind, music, painting, sculpture, writing, um, that's not real. Um, anyone who drinks when they write, none of that's real. Um, doing heroin, um, 
shit. Like we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have any music to listen to at all from the nineties. If heroin was out, like there would be no art, you know? Um, now, I'm not saying everyone needs to go do heroin, but I'm saying there is a um, definite misunderstanding about what... Uh-oh. Are we still good here? Okay. There's a definite misunderstanding about what um, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication, even fucking antipsychotics do to a person. And, um, some of the people I talked to were like, I would just never do anything like that. And like on a completely side note, and of course I'm not mentioning any names here, but on a complete side note, look at what's going on in your life right now and how you're feeling every day. And then tell me that you think, antidepressants might be a bad thing for you. Um, it's just, it's, it's really weird. This is supposed to be uplifting. It's uplifting for me. Like it showed that I was wrong about what I was afraid of. I thought that my life was over, that I would be alive, but dead. Okay, and this proved that that wasn't the case. Okay, so um, I don't know, like poetry is very personal when a poet is writing something. It's a little different than someone cr critiquing your fantasy novel about... Um, dragon thespians or something like that. <clears throat> so when I got a lot of shit for this, I, I kind of wanted to just like crawl in a hole for a little bit. I honestly couldn't believe that I was getting shit for this. So this is obviously a discussion that has to take place. Um, how do you feel? that um, antidepressants and um, any kind of mind-altering chemicals um, affects art and artists. Do you think that someone taking antidepressants, whatever they create, isn't really them? Like, that argument... And it wasn't like um, just words. It was like there was anger behind the words like I was just shocked um, but again I just want to reiterate some of the people who came to me with questions or anger about this <clears throat> we had really good talks and it wasn't bad there was just um, a couple things said by a couple different people and one person who I'm probably never talking to again, um, just because the, um, the hate and like, there was like rage there that I had nothing to do with that was there from way before me. Um, I just, I can't believe that we live in a society still that, um, like mental illness is still looked at like, the fucking plague. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so anyway, let me know down below what you think. And, um, again, in the comments, don't get angry and start yelling at people. If people are disagreeing with you, we're just talking here, you know, like we're all adults. We should be able to have conversations without completely losing our shit. Um, so this is just discussions. This is not debate. This is not argument. This is just friendly discussion talking about our views. Okay. So let me know down below what you think. I can't believe that I even have to do this, that I have to preface what we're talking about here. I had no idea that this was going to piss so many people off. So, um, 
All right, guys, see you later.